Now, is it me? Or if anyone has seen Simple Scalinian Sky, they understand that the plasma discharge from one body to another uh, can cause this kind of uh, arcing effect that was then translated into various uh, petroglyphs and, and symbols uh, meaning different things. So you know, there was one the goddess and that kind of shit. But this is interesting. This, uh, this particular one here. I'm trying to find. I think I might need to find the uh, thing. Electric universe. Electric universe. Oh, the symbols of Minion Sky actually. Sky. Images. Not that one. Going awry. Okay, maybe not that one then. I think it's. Look at that. It's just charging off that object there. You could argue this must be like a, an object here, and then it, this is the discharge from that going here. Look how it moves as if it's uh, almost like an aurora borealis. And then you've got this electrical thread thing going on here, and then you've got this big arc here. What's this? Very interesting. Very interesting indeed. <laughs> oh. Streaming at the same time, Willie, just so you know, you might be recorded, but I'm just kind of, uh, yeah, look at that, look at the effect on the sun there. So this is definitely some kind of, uh, some kind of plasma discharge of some kind, I'm thinking. So if I put the creep, I might be. Alright, I'm, I'm going to post a few of my... Uh, just so 
just to have an idea how much time it is. Right, I've had it on a... There you go. Yeah, I've got the name of it. Thank you. I appreciate that. You're welcome. In my server or in the text channel? Uh, screenshot. Oh, great. Ooh. Yeah, I had something very similar yesterday, and very similar just now, in fact. It's just further away. It's interesting, because I'm looking at this, and I'm thinking to myself, it looks like a rock, like a, a, an asteroid, or a, or some, some kind of rocky, yeah. rocky shape floating through the sky. And then you've got all of this texture coming up. Look at this. Now, I'm starting to wonder... <laughs> Because they say the floods and the great conflagration happen very quickly, very apart, very almost next to each other. So I kind of uh, hang on a minute. Look at this. Uh, I, I, I posted a screenshot for I also posted in Tartary here as well. Um, electromagnetic discharge no uh, thread attachment di plasma discharge but I guess it is a wasn't the, the, the temporary layer uh, I would just burn. right this is what I'm saying maybe the catch maybe the chemtrails were considered to be a lesser evil because it looks like the sun is literally just a second ago it looked like the sun <coughs> there was a massive sun solar flare it just looked this massive kind of flare thing came by wow. you can look you can see the way I'm just scrolling through it just looking at the way the light and the clouds move around this isn't you know these clouds aren't white white because they're clouds they're white because it's bloody energy it's it's freaking it's from the sun all moving well not moving a similar direction but more or less seven almost it looks like it looks like a it looks like an aura borealis Oh, how are they called again? Homogenitus cirrus. Man-made clouds. Now, I don't, th I don't know how much of this is man-made. I think some of those straight lines might be. Um, <clears throat> but now I'm at that point now where I believe the chemtrail, the chemtrail conspiracy is a smoke and mirrors conspiracy to cover another's conspiracy it, it's kind of like it's a layer it's like almost like inception you know <laughs> yeah it's like okay well chemtrails yeah. is a lesser conspiracy so we can use that to cover it up but actually it's not but then they're going to have trouble trying to prove the chemtrails issue in the first place anyway so it's like there's a double whammy there and it gets a bit it's a bit crazy <clears throat> but it's almost yeah. like you can see you can kind of see uh, almost what looks like uh, interference patterns. Or... It depends which way you want to look at it, but the fact that these interference patterns then begin to form eye shapes and various other things also speaks to me quite significantly. I'm looking at all of this stuff and it's almost just like... Uh, hmm. there, there are symbols and shapes, shapes very you know, there's so many, there's too much, uh, you know, there's, I don't yeah. know. But then we've got to yeah. maybe consider that all symbols and shapes are derived from things that we see in nature anyway. And the meaning itself is what we're ascribing to them, but it may not mean that, uh, what we believe it to mean at all. But I'm looking at this and I'm thinking, oh, I'm going to zoom in on that. Not the best zoom in the world, but just having a look at that detail. Uh, 
like it's not going to be sideways. I mean, looking at this, it seems to have a, a round circular aspect to it as well in some areas like it. That's weird. Oh, now it's almost. Oh, look. Mm. Huh. Oh, man. What's doing here? What's what doing where? No. Uh, we the other dog. Right from that. Well, the sun came through again and it's very hard to see the screen. And when sitting in a better place, then the connection is quite lost. 